This is Michael Johnson, pastor of Love Rising Lutheran Church. Um, as we have gone through 40 days and 40 nights through the Lenten season in the wilderness with Jesus on this thing that we're calling a biblical treasure hunt, we are now entering into Holy Week. And so today is Holy Monday, and we're going to be reading a piece from the prophet Joel um, in the Old Testament, part of the Book of the Twelve Prophets, or the Book of the Twelve, as we call it. Um, I'm reading, I'll be reading from the second chapter of Joel, and I'm just reading one verse, Joel 2, and the verse is 12, verse 12. It reads, Yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning in this season um, of Lent uh, where we go into the wilderness uh, for self-reflection. Uh, fasting is one of those spiritual disciplines that we review during this season. And we have talked about fasting earlier uh, in, in, in our pilgrimage through the wilderness. Uh, but this time we just wanted to come back to it because it's a discipline that we need to continue to practice. And so I want you to just think about that, um, the whole notion of fasting, which of course is about self-denial, of denying yourself in what we might call divine arithmetic, where we subtract something in order to add something that will help us deepen our relationship with, with God through Christ Jesus and perhaps even help us to deepen our relationship with one another. So, I mean, what is that as we continue? I mean, some of us, we know that there are, if we're going to be honest, several things that we might need to fast or remove from our daily routine that might be keeping us from having a deeper relationship with God. And when we think about um, fasting, how does fasting help return your heart to God? And if, if you're like me, um, thinking about some of the ways that we have fallen short of the glory of God may cause you to weep or mourn. But what, is, what are some of those things, again, as we revisit that, as we self-reflect on what we need to deny ourselves of to be, to be in a deeper relationship with God? And then I want you to even go a little deeper by thinking about communal fasting. Does communal fasting help us in this time and, in this, and, and at, for such a time as this? so to speak. Um, what are some things that we might need to fast or remove from our culture as a black community, as the United States, this capitalistic society, um, as the church? What are some things that we need to remove that are keeping us from being the church or the community that God wants us to be? Amen.